Hey golfers out there, my name is Jared. I just got back from the golf course. In today's short video, we're gonna be covering something I was just asked over at the golf course and the driving range here in the mountains of Southern California. So I'm gonna change the uh, camera angle and get right into it. If you saw the title of the video, you know what we're gonna get into. So if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Consider hitting that subscribe button. It does not cost you a nickel. And I'll share a few tips of over 30 years of golf on how to hit the ball a little bit higher. Help out maybe you beginner golfers, uh, intermediate to advanced. So let's get right into it. Thanks again, everybody, uh, for the orders lately. I have two golf products down below, divotdoctor.com, divotdr.com, and pressureputting.com. So links down below, keep on code. Uh, pressure putting is an indoor uh, putting device, great for winter. This is a Ballmark Divot Repair Tool, divotdr.com, if you can see that. Switchblade style, lifetime warranty, magnetic ball marker on the back. So, check it out. Get these uh, before the holidays are upon us. So, let's get right into it. Thanks for watching. Alrighty, and we are back. So, I uh, wanted to actually uh, address a couple comments <clears throat> from recent videos. It kind of cracks me up when I get these Every once in a while you get the oddball comment, people got nothing better to do. If you don't like the video, don't watch it. Um, you can send your goofy comment. Somebody said, well, why do I want to watch a guy and hit balls and flip-flops? I just simply replied, you don't have to, but you might want to try it out. I'm a pretty decent golfer myself. Hit some balls and flip-flops. Hit some balls barefoot. It will help your swing, your balance, your rhythm, your tempo. So. That being said, throw a comment below about this video, and I won't keep you too long on this beautiful, warm weekend here. Hope you're having a good weekend. Maybe get out to the range. How to hit the golf ball higher. I get this question a lot. I just got it at the driving range here in Pine Mountain Club, California. Simple answer. And golf tends to be simple, and that's why the name of my channel started out economics and finance. But... Revert to means is an economic term, but we use the term reversion or revert. Go back to, you revert to the basics, the, sim, the simple things. Don't overcomplicate golf like life, okay? How we hit the ball higher? A few different components. You got to hit the ball, not harder, faster. You need a little more speed in the swing to get more backspin that makes it go higher. One thing. Notice I didn't say harder. Don't try and hit the ball hard. Swing smooth, but in this, in this stage right here, this is where you start accelerating. And I've been playing a long time. I'm a tall guy. Um, I hit the ball very high. Um, and people, oh my gosh, I can't believe that. So at the range just now, I'm hitting some uh, nine irons, eight irons, seven irons, wedges sky high right and that's because of my swing it's fairly long smooth relaxed but in this impact zone guys gals everybody watch it this is where you to get it higher you want don't want to be jerky but this is where that height will come from right in that zone you follow me okay another thing is ball position <clears throat> I'm in my net here in my backyard with my pitching wedge, I normally have it middle of my stance, maybe slightly back on just a standard shot, a full swing, right? You want to hit a little higher. This can be a little risky. Move the ball up in your stance a little bit. Start small, then maybe a little bit more, but not too much, because if you start trying to hit your wedge off your front foot, you're probably coming over the top of it, pulling it, etc. I will also mention this. And sorry, I'm not a professional videographer, YouTube, just a guy with a phone and, and some experience. Open up your stance a hair. That might help you get a little more backspin on the ball because you'll naturally be coming steeper with the club if you open your stance just a little bit. So I'll go ahead and show you one right here. I wanted to, let's say even, this comes in handy and it takes time, guys, to practice. Go to the range, practice hitting high shots, low shots, regular shots. I do that every time I'm at the range. I was just there 
an hour ago and I always end up my last handful of golf balls, I'll take my four iron, my five iron, try and imagine I'm hitting, if you saw my last video, if you haven't, check it out, how to hit that low punch escape shot through some trees or something like that. So I encourage you to try that. I would open up the stance a little bit. For me, I actually open it quite a bit, stand a little bit taller. If you ever want that anti kind of hook or smother thing, stand a little bit taller in your upper body. Okay, nice and smooth, nothing magical to it. Also, the problem too with today's modern irons, and that's why I bought these Hogan uh, forged irons about, I don't know, four years ago now. They pretty much have standard lofts. A lot of the lofts on irons that you buy, they're way different. Uh, a pitching wedge from, I'm in my mid 40s, so if you relate, a pitching wedge back then was, I believe, 48 degrees. Now you buy a fairly new set of irons in the last, especially the last one, two, three, four years. A loft on a pitching wedge now, I think it went from 48, I think it's down to 42, and you'll see these lofts are much lower. So people think, oh, I'm hitting my eight iron so far, but, and technology has helped where you're still going get, to get the height, but just think about that. Remember that as well. You think, oh, I'm not hitting my seven iron high. That's basically because it's a six iron, a five iron. Okay, um, same thing, open stance, stand tall, okay, and also, I, I just noticed myself, I'll share this with you because I'm guilty of it, make sure your hands, when you address the ball, and you're about to pull the trigger and take it back, if you want to hit it higher, you're struggling, why can't I hit the ball higher, check your hand, your hand position, are they way I'm at a little different angle than I normally film. I'm not quite at 90, but you can see. Are your hands ahead of the club when you address the ball, okay? That's obviously gonna de-loft the ball, and then you're coming through, it's gonna de-loft the club even more if you can see that. So let's say you got your ball here, you're getting ready to pull the trigger, and here's your setup, right? You're going to take your swing, come through, and it's going to be de that, that pitching wedge is now a 8-iron, uh, 7-iron. So be wary of that. Golf is just kind of a, like I mentioned earlier, simple, but there are things to check. And my first many videos months ago about golf were fundamentals, grip alignment, posture stance. We'll wrap the video up. Have a great weekend, everybody. Swing smooth. Hit them straight. And don't forget... Have fun out there. Golf is meant to have fun and enjoy time with uh, friends, family, spouses, etc. Take care. God bless. Enjoy the view from Pine Mountain Club, California. Have a blessed weekend. Take care and hit that bell not notification. Stay tuned for the next video.